Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to have you here with us. Can you kick off with an intro to Last Swim? What can people expect coming into the film? Last Swim is a coming-of-age film, uh, which is really authentic, really raw, and it, it has so many things uh, in it that young people can resonate with, and I'm just so glad to be a part of it. And I'm at London Film Festival, that's crazy! Ah! <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really raw film, and it's just full of um, banter, but also full of topics that young people deal with, older people deal with, a lot of people, us all deal with. And um, yeah, I feel like it's 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 a film that's made it in the right time, right now. It, it feels like a film that all of us need to hear and see. So yeah, yeah, really, really excited, yeah. And what can you tell us about your character specifically? How did you prepare to play him? In what ways could you relate to him? In what ways are you very different? Malcolm's really funny, actually, because um, Malcolm seems like he's just me, but... Um, He's got so many other factors to him that I, I've never, I've never actually experienced in my life. I've never experienced the pressures of being in a household and having to make it. Uh, my mum's always been very open and, 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 and very encouraging, but it seems like he's always had that pressure on his back because he's trying to make it into football. I'm obviously acting, so that's completely different. But to get ready for the role, I, I definitely looked for things that we both find interest in and, and, and that is football and I, and I love football and it's also playing football. I, I, I was really like just trying to uh, get in shape for it, do everything I can to actually look good for the role as well. Um, I feel like Malcolm resonates with me because he's in a single mother household and I'm in a single mother household. I just didn't have to be as competitive as he is. My mum really let me flourish in ways that helped me in the future and there was no pressure because she understood that I, I was a child at the time. But it seems like Malcolm's trying to be the man of the house and that, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of pressure for anyone. So yeah, that's, that's how I resonated with him. Like I felt the pressure that he was under and, and I tried my best to uh, make that come out on screen. And the shoot sounds like it was so much fun, but maybe also quite intense. So what were some of your favorite moments, but maybe on the flip side, bits that you found difficult? Um, my favorite moment on set was uh, dancing in the trailer. It was definitely dancing in the trailer. It's so funny, we'd knock on music in the morning and start dancing straight away. Me and Jay just dancing. And also, like, weirdly enough, because I found out that Jay, who, uh, who plays uh, Murph in it, I, I found out he likes wrestling, so we were always playing, like, wrestling music and acting like we were about to enter. You know, grown men, but, like, we, we love it. We absolutely love it. So that was nice to have on set. Um, but I think the thing that was... The hardest was the weather. At the time, it was either really hot or freezing cold. And if you have a night shoot, you're just like shivering the whole time. But have to stay in character. So that was definitely something that I was like, it's preparing me for like other roles as well. Like it's 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 endurance. Is is like, but yeah, that's that's something I would say was a low. Like just shivering and then still having to act like you weren't like in a scene. So yeah. And in terms of the takeaways, I mean, I guess you've touched on quite a few points already. You know, I think young people can find a lot to to relate to in the film. It's also sort of a love letter to London in lots of ways. So you, what do you think the takeaways might be? I think the takeaway, at least my takeaway, is um, ask your friends for help. Like I watch the film and I and I go, you know. She, she didn't really ask for help in the film and it's like the importance of asking for help if you if you suffer from mental health or if you're going through anything uh, in life it, the importance of asking for help from your friends from your peers and and, and that not feeling silly about it and and not carrying so much weight we see so many people in this film carry weight you know the mum's carrying weight my mum's carrying weight I'm carrying weight you know the divas carrying weight you know we're all carrying weight in this film and it feels like you know you can carry less weight if you're, you're able to talk about it, if you're able to talk to someone else about it. So um, it would just be nice if um, young people can, can talk more, you know, and, and conversations can happen. So, yeah, I would say the takeaway is just, like, to express yourself more, but also, like, speak to your best friend if something's going on. And what a place to be for the UK premiere, London Film Festival. I mean, no more perfect place to be. Oh, man, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm in London Film Festival right now. Like, I don't take it for granted. Like, so much is going on in the world right now. So I feel so, so lucky that I'm able to be at London Film Festival. Like, it's it's just such a blessing. So, um, yeah, I'm so, I'm so grateful. And what's next for you? Have you got something else lined up? And what might you have on the bucket list? You know, anyone you really want 
to work with? A genre you'd like to try? I have so many people I want to work with, but like I'm named after Denzel Washington, and I want to work with Denzel Washington. That's that's the person I'd love to work with. But um, yeah, and, and I'm gonna work with. Yeah, I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna work with him. But uh, as to if I have anything lined up, um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what's in the pipeline. I can't speak too much right now, but we'll see what's in the pipeline. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much. Really enjoy this moment. Really enjoy tonight. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Come on.